mute myself for a second. See if that fixed it. Testing. Okay, so I can hear this still. Is it this? Hmm. Testing. I assume that's right. Just a redstone world. Uh, I can stop listening to myself and go back over here. Back to game. Save that. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. We're live. Game's up, running. I hear chickens, barely. Oh yeah. Hear that. All right, I should have fixed the game while you're with you. Sounds right. If anybody jumps in the stream at some point and you see that it's not sounding good, uh, let me know. Stuck in my frames. Yeah, I know. I really wish I could fix that, but oops. Uh, memory, CPU, average upload, frame drops. I mean, that's fine. It's going to have to be okay. So uh, let's quit out of here and let's actually get started. Single player, Woodcraft, picking back up where we left off yesterday. This is technically episode one now that we've gotten. Get out of my house, dude. Now that we've gotten a basic. Uh, oh, that's too loud. Adjust that a little bit and turn me up and then turn the game audio down. Like that should be fine, right? Test, testing, that seems fine. Whatever, I'll, I'll figure it out afterwards. Uh, anyway, so we're back and we have something new today. Actually, this is the first time. Then I'm going to try this, which is, uh, yep. Hey, you can see the stream now. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? Oop, not anymore. Uh, so I'm trying to think of how I'm going to do suggestions. This is Plutocraft, by the way. Welcome back to Plutocraft, everybody. Hi. Um, somebody comes in, they suggest something. And they just give me a very basic, make this, make a house, make a, a lighthouse, make a, I don't know, giant pepperoni pizza. It doesn't matter. Uh, this is going to be the layout I'm going to use for 
finding reference for things. So, as you remember yesterday, our uh, oop, oop, our first ever suggestion by a man named Mangle92 was build a statue of a battle droid. Not just a battle droid, but a statue of a battle droid. So I immediately thought, what if we build like a like a stone pillant in the middle of town? I'll make it out of stone bricks, make it nice. Um, and then we make a battle droid. So uh, you, to get reference, I started looking around. I was mixing up the regular battle droid and the super battle droid. Um, but yeah, this is who I thought they were talking about. Just a regular... Good old basic battle droid from Star Wars. The prequel specifically. Um, <laughs> yeah, this seems like a very basic stance. I could do more of an action oriented stance, but I kind of like this, just using it like a sentinel, um, building like a stone pillar underneath it, and then just the basic statue itself. I'm wondering how big to make it and out of what materials. It's tan in color, so we could use like sandstone. That could be kind of good. We could get a lot of angles and slabs and walls and stuff. Um, and then a gun. Hmm. Let me get back into game and look around, but I'll I'll keep this reference up on the other screen. So, uh, yep. Whoops. Why? Why does that look so weird? How is a book normally oriented? I cannot remember. Book. Yeah, it's normally sideways like that. There we go. That's fine. First of all, get out of here. I gotta go to sleep. And then I'm going to cook up some stone. Um, I'm gonna make a sign. Just because I think that would be... A nice way to write something underneath the statue. Just an oak sign for now. Yeah. Extra wood sticks. We got three signs out of it. I'll take it. Um, maybe I'll put two of them down there. One with the... Uh, yeah, we can kind of label everything as we go. So I'll put one down with the original person who suggested the thing. Uh, and the date, maybe. And then... Uh, the second sign will just be something that I think is appropriate. Uh, and I think I have a, a good one for this. I'll put up this other sign. And what else should I grab? I don't have any sand, so i got to go get some sand. Um, let me bring that thing back up real quick. Battle droid. Eh, tiny little eyes. I could make those out of just the gaps in the stairs. Maybe put like a black wool in his head. Nose is kind of cone shaped. Mm. Square chest, big pack on the back. Arms kind of coming out at angles. Thin waist. I'm thinking like three wide. Three wide, maybe four wide. Because then we could do the slope down the middle with like two stair blocks. I think that would look pretty good. Um, yeah, I think I know how to do this. I, I think I have a cool idea for this. So, I need some black wool. I'm just going to use black wool. That'll work for now. Uh, back to here, back to this, back to here. All right. So here's some black dye for the wool. Here's two things of wool. That's about all I need. If I even need to. Uh, black wool. wool. Um, stone. Yeah, I was going to cook some stone. Can, and like I said, I'm pretty sure you can't do that in a blast furnace. See? I don't know why. Shut up. I'm serious. I'll kill you. Okay. Here we go. Music and sounds... 
uh, friendly creatures. Haha, <laughs> nice. Done. Done. That should be a little more palatable. Uh, I had some cobblestone in here. Four stacks of it. That should be plenty. Probably. Um, not in the blast furnace. While that's cooking, I'm going to leave this annoying guy here and go find sand for the uh, sandstone for the actual statue itself. See if I can find some. And then we also got to pick a spot for the statue. Let's see, where should it go? This is kind of the center of town. I got to check on Bob over here. Hey, he's still good. Still trading that wheat. Um, I kind of want to be central to the town. I could put it right here. I could put it on top of Bob's house, maybe. Uh, I might put it like right here. This seems good. Yeah, this seems nice. Get my dirt right here. Now flush this out a little bit. Oops. One thing you learn about me is that I hate art in Minecraft. I just think it's ugly. I think it, it, it gets everywhere appropriately. And uh, I don't like it. I'm going to take this. I don't know why I'm cutting it at the base like it's going to cut the whole thing down, but why am I cutting it with an axe? Three torches, three pieces of stripped wood, which I love all the uh, stripped wood and stripped logs. I think they look really good. I'll probably be using, ooh, this is oak. I could use stripped birch wood, but I couldn't use that for everything. I'd have to use, like, birch planks and, and stairs for some stuff. Um, I'm down to one piece of dirt left. I'm going to get rid of the rest of these stupid tall grass. Uh, loud. Probably too loud. We'll find out. After the stream, I guess. There's going to be some, you know, just course correction. Uh, I'm going to deal with things as they arise, you know. Probably didn't have to replace that one, but whatever. Okay. This looks like a good good area. Um, let me go get that stone back. That's not my house. Jeez. This is my house. Do I say it again? This is my house. Go away, man. So annoying. Is there... I mean, I guess I could do like a piston door. Nobody get in but me, but I'm just gonna kill this guy. Like, really? Um... I can't pick up the bed and no. Don't come back. I'm not kidding. Anyway. Here it comes. Walking right back down here. There you go. That's what you get. There's plenty of other houses. Um this should be working, making progress. I can turn that into stone bricks or I'll just do regular I'm going to end up killing all the villagers in this town. <laughs> Is there like, there? do I need to put a bunch of other workstations in other places to make them not do that? What other workstations do I want? I could do a, what's the one with the thing? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> um, this, lectern. Okay, I need a bookshelf. This means I need a lot of books. Which means I need leather. Sugar cane, which I'm growing over there. Um, that's it. Yeah, sugar cane paper. I have the wood. So, yeah, that's not that bad. Uh, first of all, let me get rid of that. I'll keep the fences just in case. Get rid of all flowers. Keep the black wool for in a minute. Uh, no, no, no. Almost done.
What else was I? Sand. Sand. That's what it was. Okay. Um, I'm sure there's going to be, you know, a handful of sand on the shore around here, but I really want to find a place with like a relatively large supply, you know. I haven't explored at all, so maybe I'll just explore for a little while. Oh boy, I don't like that. Are you not? There you go. Why do you... That was weird. He kept walking the wrong direction for a good 10 seconds. That wasn't 10 seconds. I don't know how to estimate time. Hey, bees. Look at that. My, my voice went higher than I thought it could. But, uh, it's cool. I like bees. Hey, bee. How you doing? Yeah, he's fine. Um... Horses, holy crap. Handful of horses. Like a rip right here. Yeah, this is a good bit of sand. I'll take this. It's fine for now. I try to like cut it away from the uh you know from the natural landscape to keep it looking nice, but I don't know, sometimes you can't do that or it doesn't look natural. Uh, if I had more dirt, I would fill it in, but I think I'm just going to, like, cut this right here and let it let it flow into the, uh, the cave. I don't care. Yep, there we go. Good enough. Um, I'll get the rest of this. I don't care. I can come back and beautify this later on. For now, I just need the sand. Sand, 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 sand. Uh, let's see what I Whatever. I'll probably just come back and fill it all in with dirt and make it up. So, I'll leave the sand in the ground. Uh, is it already getting dark? Jeez. Yeah, I'll take this. And then this should be enough. I'm really not planning on making it enormous, but I kind of also just wanted sand because I, uh, I really like concrete. I don't know if I already mentioned that, but, um, that is generally one of my go-to materials and you need a lot of sand for that, so. There's also gravel here. Might as well. Shovel's already... A lot of gravel. <laughs> oh yeah, I know it's super dark for some reason on stream, so... I wasn't planning on getting this much, but I mean, I'll go ahead and get enough for some concrete. Might as well. The only thing that sucks about concrete is that you have to craft it, place it, pick it back up, and then you can actually use it. Or I guess you could craft it in place, you know. Um, might have some free iron since I'm out here using iron anyway. Yeah, that's a lot of iron. Quite a bit. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, I think that right there made up for like all of my tools, at least. Good enough. I don't care. Back home. It is well and truly nighttime now. I wish I would have, you know, paid more attention to that because I'm going to have to run home through skeletons and, yeah, I get it. Shut up. Up around this way. There we 
we go. Five dollars. That's I won't get home without getting hit. Bruh. Yeah. Too many enemies. Shut up. Um. Okay. Maybe I'm fine. I can get the sugar cane while I'm out here. Well, I say get it, but I'm literally just gonna pick it up, put it back down. Put some more torches now that I have them around here just to keep spawns from unexpectedly cropping up right behind my house. Uh, one more right here, because that creeper came from right here. Ish. <sighs> home sweet home, and no people in here. That's nice. Uh, bread. Don't need this egg. Did I not have rotten flesh in there, seriously? Uh... Not a great amount of iron to cook, but whatever. Take the cooked stone out of there, put the cobblestone back there. Uh, this one is going to be exclusively for... Oh my god. Like, I understand them wanting to come in here, but like... I, go away. I don't know what to tell you. I'm literally just going to like... Yell them. I'm just going to kill him. I am... Anyway, back up here. Um, I'm going to make this into sandstone, but I'll go ahead and put a stack of sand and most of a stack of gravel in there. Oh, I already have gravel in here. That's where it went. Yeah, I'll do it like this. I'll put that there, and then... Yep. Perfect. Now I got overflow for cobblestone. Uh, stone I'm going to make into stone bricks. That's fine. Should I make stairs? If I make stairs, I'm going to have to make a bunch of them. But they're also going to be like the entire... Yeah, I need to make stairs because it'll, you know make the entire thing look nice so and if I'm making it four wide four wide one two three four yeah I guess that's fine stop trespassing man look here's here's what I'm gonna do just to just to fix this, because it's getting out of hand. Get rid of all those. This and this right here. Um, grab out of there. That's going to have to be good enough for now. And then I'm going to take this iron, take three of the doors, well I goofed a little bit. That's what it is. One more. Let's 
see if they're able to pathfind their way in here now. Because I don't think they see iron doors as passable. So they're not going to try and just walk into them. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I guess we'll find out. Uh... I really don't like that idea. Yeah. This is a straight up massacre now. <laughs> but they keep trying to come in my house. I don't know what to tell you. Um, so I'm going to put this right here instead. Sure, that's what I wanted. There you go. I'll put the two fresh plates right there. And then, uh, cobblestone. So I don't have to have stairs. I'll just do that. That's fine. I'm not really uh, going for aesthetics right now, you know. I'm not making any more pressure points. Oh, I can make some more. That's fine. And we're done. Okay, much better. So I got the signs. I don't need this extra iron door now. Uh, here's some extra iron. That's enough for a block, so I guess I'll do that. There we go. Wooden doors. Uh, keeping the stone bricks, keeping the regular stone, keeping the sand. You just combine sand to sandstone, right? Cool. It's not very efficient. Uh, at all. It sucks, actually. It really sucks. Um, how do you make walls? It's so like this? Yeah. We do that. This. Do that. That's what we got so far. Not a whole lot. I need to find more sand. Um, I'll just use this. That's only 16. Not that much. So. Hello? Mouse is freaking out. There we go. 17, 6 walls, 4 stairs. That might be enough for now. I'm not going to cast it, you know. At the same time, I don't really want a hole, you know what I'm saying? I'll bring a crafting bench over there just so I have something. There was something purple in there. Can you... I thought there was a way to split a chest evenly. It's always going to be slightly uneven. I'll just put them right here. I wish there was a way to quickly pick up stuff, but I don't think there is. I'm wrong about that. Uh, taking the wool, taking the stone, taking the sandstone, signs, workbench, cobblestone. I don't need the flint. I think that's it. not look good, but it's, it'll keep annoying villagers out of our house. Probably because they're all... Whoopsie. Oh, no, there's a bunch. Yeah. We're fine. We're fine. Look at that. There's a dozen of them. Or six. God, they're in. 
Anyway. Um, I need to turn that down more. That it's turned on to like forty percent. There we go. It's weird that it's music and sounds and video settings, not video settings and audio settings. Um, I kind of want this like a six circle, I guess. Cool. I'm going to have to flesh it out very early on to be able to make uh, this. Now, I could, am I going to do it completely square? Do I want to curve it off on the edges? It's going to be a relatively small thing, so I think I'm going to curve it off right there. Oh my god, I hate you guys so much. That right? Yes. Gotta mark out one, two, three, four. But I mean, this is probably wide enough. I was gonna have it like overlooking this way. Uh, so we get front and the back, like two deep, and then one. One, two, three, four. What? Yeah. One, two, three, four. And then the stair on the other side. So I just took some more stone. Um, a few more stone, a few more stone stairs. Should be good. Uh, I think a half a stack should be plenty. And that's enough coal to cook it. Need some more coal, by the way. I guess I could go strip mine while I'm waiting for. Got four iron picks. Uh, I'm gonna leave all this stuff here because I don't need any of that with me, you know. Four, five, six. Take the cobblestone. I'll drop that extra brick right there. There we go. Let's go do some strip mining. Not a whole lot. Aha. Oh, I'm gonna make a. I have enough wood on me. I'll make a double chest for the um stuff down here. And there's some more coal, so I could go for that. Eh, let me, let me go Pretty experienced, too. Because we're pretty close to enchant. I already have one diamond. Um, Got to get a couple more for the iron, too. Got to get a couple more for the pick itself. And then I can start getting obsidian, and then to the uh, enchanting table and they get a cow farm started for the leather, for the books, for the bookshelves, for the enchanting table. Um, I'm also eventually going to need mending for my stuff, especially netherite stuff. Um, yeah, let me put a torch down. There we go. So, I need lectures to try and farm. Uh, a villager, like a, is it librarians? I'm not sure. Um, whichever, you know, job it is that villagers have that gives them a chance to have mending books. I'm going to have to farm for that one. And then once I get a mending villager, I can just mending books forever. And that's really good. There's the stairs. I'll leave this cave down here. 
I'm going to dig through it. Right. Hey, let me switch my um that works. I'll go to like eight. Seems like a good uh good distance. Hey, another cave. Or possibly the same cave. Get rid of that. Uh, looks like a dead end. Nothing. More coal. I think I'm good for now. I mean, I do need it. It's not like it's going to have a ton of coal, so. That was my chair. I promise. Uh, there we go. Uh, I'm just going to leave all these fields up. I don't care about filling them. There's a cave. The same ravine. That's just lava, so it's not just that way. I don't think it would wrap around this far anyway. There we go. Iron, iron, redstone, diamond, hello. Hell yeah. Yeah, well, three is better than nothing, you know. Uh, so that's enough for that's a fourth diamond over there. Look at that. I don't think I've ever seen two diamond veins. There's no way that's a part of the same vein. But it's close enough. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. Three. Uh, uh. Any more? Nah. That's Still. Uh, six diamonds is enough for a pick now and an enchanting table. So we can actually start uh, using some of the diamond. That's really good. Let's see. Did I get any water? I didn't put water in the bucket. I'm a dumb dumb. Wasn't there water? There was water back there and I filled it in. Oh my god. Uh, this is probably going to flow out. Maybe not. I don't care. Iron, wool. We are kind of just getting everything now. There's not really any uh, rhyme or reason. I uh, could put that lapis over there, but actually, I have a bunch of almost a stack. I already made some of it into blocks. Extra redstone. couple extra pieces of coal. I might go back up after this. I mean, that was a very successful little uh, excursion there, you know. Boop. 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 Oh my god. We'll never stop. It will just go on and go on and go on and go on. Okay. Uh, that's where we came out. The double torches are a good indicator for me because I never put double torches unless it's, you know, something benefits me. Uh, uh, is that going to trigger that? Probably. That one is. It is. Normally I would never cause it given like that because I think it looked ugly, but I figured it might have exposed something. I guess not. A bunch of them. Be able to complete 
make our uh, armor if we need to. Not that I'm planning on ever dying. I don't do that in real life either. And good enough. Yeah, might as well go back up. Double torches. All right, uh, I'll make that chest one here. Pretty exposed dirt. Dirt, 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 dirt. Come on, run. There's no exposed dirt in here at all. Um, might as well take up a bucket of lava. I mean, it can't hurt. I could literally go ahead and get uh, another, just like bring up lava sources and put them somewhere and then touch them with water build it from the bottom up and I could do it. It would be kind of annoying. And then I could go to the nether. I might do that. I don't know. Uh, also, I think you can go up and down a path like this if you have stairs without bumping your head. It may be too tall. But even if I have to dig out one more block, I might make this into stairs and go jump up the whole way. Because that's annoying. <clears throat> yeah, we're just a real bunch. This is what I collect with Luke and S4, by the way, because I, uh, I don't know. Stuff you're collecting like falls into the water when you're trying to collect it. That's probably fine. Else? Over there? Not. Okay. This is kind of a good example of how it would actually work. Um, you know, like the. 36. Or 32. There we go. Um, it was kind of a good example of how it would work if I were to uh, There we go. If I were to Um, you know, doing everything else. And, uh, it would obviously be the, the primary focus. Hold on one second. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Um, uh, of what we're doing and trying to get material resources for it. Realistically, I have to go do it. Um, so, here for now. So, I, I went down and I was doing other stuff. I had to do a little more, but, uh, you know, the important thing is that I was making progress on the actual time. Cobblestone right there. Keep that on me. Keep this. Dump this andesite. Let's melt those in a second. I'll make another pick once I get the iron. I got the stone bricks. That's not how to make that works. Uh, one thing of stairs. Two things of stairs. I could make a stone cutter. I forgot about those. I might do that right now just to save on uh, materials. Stone cutter, stone cutter, stone cutter, stone cutter. Stone cutter. Uh, 
There it is. Uh, three smooth stone, which... Whatever. I can make it in a second. Um, smooth stone. Iron. Perfect. One, two, three. One. Stone cutter. You can place it anywhere, so I'm just going to put it right there. Stone bricks. I'm going to make like a dozen stairs. That'll be plenty. That's a weird noise. Um, there we go. There's the stairs. Here's the stone bricks. Uh, I'm going to do this through the night, so I'm not actually, you know, wasting daylight. And we got quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of stuff. I'm going to have to make an anvil soon, and that's going to be the majority of the iron, but still. Uh, we got some ink sacks. Let me go ahead and get one on me with a feather. That's all I meant to do. Some weather. I need the paper from outside from the sugar cane. Maybe enough of it will be grown tomorrow. You know what I wish you could do? I really think this would be a good addition to Minecraft. Is um, I wish that you could go away. That's not what I meant. <laughs> there we go. I wish when you stripped a log, like birch wood, for example, the I wish an item would pop out and it would be like tree clippings or something, or like uh, like a tree bark, and maybe with like four of those in a square you could create like a piece of paper or two pieces of paper or something. I think that would be a good um, crafting recipe. It would give you an alternative way to make paper. You could make a tree farm and turn that into like a paper farm. Um, I think it's a good idea and I think it's a realistic idea. That's that's how we made, you know, papyrus and stuff for thousands of years, uh, tree bark and I assume I may be talking out of my ass, but uh, done in there. Whatever, I'll wait till that's done. A couple of gold. Where the rest of the coal go? Let's go ahead and put this in here. <laughs> Come on. And there we go. Couple things of gold. Uh, I'll carry all this on me. I'm just I'm gonna have a book and quill on me like at all times, just in case somebody pops in and they want to have a uh, a suggestion. You know, I'll just drop it. Figure that would be a good way to do it. Done with this. Uh, let me split this thing of coal. Drop those in there. Make some torches while I'm thinking about it. Done with the smooth stone. Uh, I like to just keep the smooth stone smooth. If I need more, I'll come back and get it. But if not, uh, do it like this. That's good. I like that. Um, I can put up these iron ingots enough to make another block, but I like to have ingots and blocks, so uh, that's all good. I got the compass, all this stuff, stone bricks. Okay, now I can sleep. I'll go tomorrow, see if the sugar cane is grown so I can get paper for the uh, second book. I do not think it has. Oh, piece. Not the anime. Never watched One Piece. No hate towards it whatsoever, just haven't watched it. I know everyone says it's amazing, but I don't have 36 years to catch up. Uh, I'll keep the sugar cane on me for now. Yeah, let me take these lily pads down there. I'll give me something else to do and fill some more time. Those seeds up there. This will be nice. Lily pad, lily pad.
Yeah, you can see why I like lily pads. It just lets you create like a, a walkable if you want. And it's very convenient. But then item also can't fall through it, so. Pretty nice. I know you know what lily pads are for. I'm just making copper. You know? That works. That's actually a really nice uh, little operation. Fill in that gap. Uh, that should be fine. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Uh, so those will keep growing. Can you bone meal sugar cane? I'm going to check that. Do I have any bones? Four bones, perfect. One bone meal. Yeah, yeah, I know I can make white dye and bone blocks and you really can't or is it just because I have a shield? Huh. You really cannot bone meal uh sugar cane at all. Maybe you can only do it when it's on sand. I don't know if I'm just making up stuff now. Uh what could I bone meal? You know what I'm gonna do? Really want to have extra clutter in here. And whatever, I'll, I'll just put it back in there. I'll get rid of these eggs. It'll work out the same way. Uh -huh. Baby chick. Okay. Whoops, I forgot the other pieces. Uh, okay, I forgot it places it backwards. That's cool. That is there we go. Hey chick. Okay. Stone brick. Stone brick, stone brick, stone brick. Stone brick. Now here we go. Break this one. And that. There we go. Now we got a nice little thing. It'll be spread out like wide like this, and there'll be two deep. This should be fine. And get rid of the torches. For now I might put them front back. Like that. And then let's uh how are we gonna do this? I think I want to do stairs on the bottom. I made way too many stone bricks and stuff, but whatever. Get my whole pallet down there. Uh, might as well get the black wool now too. Um, I definitely want to start with walls. No, I kind of want to start with stairs on the bottom. Like that. And then, like right here. That looks good. That looks kind of good. It's going to be kind of a big statue. It's going to be kind of large. Um... I need to find a jungle for scaffolding. That'll be really nice. Um, and bring back up the battle droid image. There we go. Shrink it down now so I can we'll see what I'm doing. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Cool. Uh, back to the game. Its legs are kind of close together, and its shoulders stretch out pretty far, so if we wanted those to be the legs where they are, it's going to have to be really tall. That's why I think three is a better width. But I don't think I could make the head look very good with three wide. What would fit better here structurally? I think three would fit better here. So maybe I will do that. 
break this and this. Yeah, I think three are better. So we got stone bricks. Don't need this anymore. Don't need this. Whoops. Is that right? And three wide by like four long. That's fine. Stairs. Wall, wall. Got very long legs, so I'm gonna need a lot of or a lot of a lot of walls. Um but that's why I brought this workbench so I wouldn't have to go back inside. I'll just put it over there, so it's out of the way. Walls. I might need two more things of walls. Okay, here we go. Let me get up. Crap block. Um, I really just need more dirt. Let me go get some dirt real quick. There we go, I'll cut this little top portion off. That's one thing I try to do is I try to, um, you know, like I said, fit with the natural landscape. And if I make it look pretty now, then I don't have to come back and make it look pretty later because it'll look fine as, as soon as we leave it, you know. Uh, Broke my shell. <clears throat> I hate you tall grass. I hate you tall grass. There we go. Okay. Uh, back in here. I don't need the black wool right now, so let me put that right there. Use the dirt. Okay, so I would say its legs are, yeah, its legs are like perfectly proportional, like half as tall as it is. So if I were to make them feet, I would say maybe like three times as long as the feet, so like six, that's six blocks. Try and make some stairs down. I don't know why I thought that would work. There we go. The board, the idiot invented in town. Okay, so yeah, two, two, four, so a couple more blocks high. And then we can convene in the center. Uh, there we go. Is that six or is that five? One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. So the sixth one is the top one. Do I want to connect them with a block of sandstone? Yeah, I think that looks right. And then a single block of sandstone. And then it like widens back out. So I'm gonna do block here, up on stair. No. Stupid. We gotta do this. There we go. Whoops. Shut down stair. That looks good. And then I would say probably if that's about two, then I would say like maybe three, two or three for the uh, the chest. Yeah, two 
two or three for the chest, probably at this width, and then I need some more sand, so. All right, well, this is where we're leaving it for now. This thing's going to be pretty big, but uh, I think it'll look good once it's done. Maybe, hopefully. Go back home, take a nap. I gotta go find a more, you know, long lasting source of uh, sand. Hopefully, somewhere with sandstone so I can just take it instead of, you know. I really wish you could craft saddles, but I can't do that. Let me just set off in a different direction, maybe. Hello, creeper. How you doing? Sheepies. I will eventually have to capture some sheep and start breeding them just to get a colored block stock, you know. Cows as well. Not for that, for leather, for books, and etc., etc., etc. Ooh, is that a savannah? Nice. I don't think I've played on a world with a savanna in a long time. At least, you know, where I had one close to where I spawned. I really like acacia trees, though, so I might go snag some of those. I'm not getting lost. If I go back towards uh, spawn right now, I should be good, or towards where the compass is pointing. I'll be fine. Oop. Area bombed out or what? Hey, desert. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Good, good, good. All right. That is good news. I know I'm dropping a lot of frames, but nothing I can really do about I didn't make a shovel. Whatever, I'm gonna I'm gonna dig down by hand to the uh, sandstone layer and then take some sandstone. That's really what I want anyway, you know. There we go. Even though this is gonna be quite annoying. Maybe it won't be that bad. There we go. This is nice. Yeah, in the, the right level, you can find a ton of sandstone without actually having to craft it or do anything. So this is, this is good. I think this will be plenty. Right about... Let me get a stack. Sixty-four. There we go. That should be plenty. Let's run on home. You know what I could do is I could put the item frame with the book on it at the actual location. I might do that if I end up copying books and stuff because I do not want to put like the only information. Um, for the build itself at the location, just in case, God forbid, you know, a creeper pops out or something and destroys it. And then I don't even know, I might not even remember what it was, you know, if it destroys just enough of it that it doesn't look recognizable. <clears throat> Need some more bread. I am eventually going to have to switch off of bread because it's, not very nutritious. Man cannot live on bread alone. Uh, let's see what else we got. Okay. So back to build. 
Ing. Back to building. Get out of here, eggs. Ugh. Don't throw it at the iron golem. There we go. Is this just regular sand? I don't need that. Okay. Uh, just try it like that. That's the bottom right there where it angles together. And then I would say that's about two blocks high, so that's good. And then I would say the chest is maybe just another two blocks. So this should be good right here, actually. So then let me do coming up from the center that and then maybe just like that whoops make a couple more things of stairs Yeah, I think this will look nice. If I go right here and I put, hold on, I put this stair block. I could do slabs also. Yeah, that's way too, like, right. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do slabs and have it, like, yeah, that should be good. Okay. Get rid of all this. Uh, I would say, like, where the head is could be like an entire block and then above it or past it would be like slab right there maybe with um I don't know how would I do the stairs how would I do the uh the eyes that's what I got that black wool for but I could do them kind of bug-eyed. I don't know if that would look any good. Uh, let's see. It's like if I did that, and then I started doing the slope down. Like that. And it's like a single slope down for the tip. Two up, two up. You can see the eyes from the side, maybe like stairs in the front, and then a slab on the top. Seems like it may look good. Stairs in the front, slab on the top. How's that look? I think it actually kind of curves down in the back, not up. Like that. Um, maybe a little extra downward drop right there. That looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, this is a slab. Let me replace this with an upside corner. Yeah, I think that looks good. Let me go down. Oh, God. Whatever. I really need another shovel. Okay. Well, it looks like he has a giant dong, but that's not not my intention. His head is awfully large. But their heads are normally awfully large. Does it look like a battle droid, though, is the only thing. How do you make smooth sandstone? Do you cook it? Can I see it in the recipe book? Chiseled sandstone or cut sandstone there we go 
yeah, it's just four regular sandstone that makes four of them, so. Didn't get any of the stuff I dropped. Really, the way this looks, I might do, um, like an entire block at the back, like this, or maybe like that. That looks kind of cool. Let me see. Yeah, let me um replace all these regular sandstone blocks with cut sandstone. I think that looks better anyway, so. There we go. That yeah, looks good. Uh, is this one as well? Yeah. I mean, I kind of like it being different because it matches with the legs and the top looks like it's a solid, like, smooth assembly. I think that looks good. Uh, put that back right there. Go take a nap. I got about 45 minutes left. It's be enough time to finish this and then maybe start on uh, the build hall, which is what I want to do, especially now that we have a completed book to put in. You know? Well, we're about to. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Ed's a little big. Also, the eyes might be lined up with the neck more, but I don't think I could make it look good if it was at the same level, you know. Now, the arms are going to be difficult because they come out and then, like, go down at an angle beside the body. And then they shoot out and forward at an angle. Holding a gun. Left one's a little lower, maybe one block lower. Um, then I gotta figure out how to make a gun. Probably black wool. For now. And we can possibly even revamp old build. You know, new materials and there's a way to kind of zhuzh them up a little bit. Um, for now, let me use the stairs, maybe. Come out from here. Uh, definitely from the very top of the torso. Arm down. Whoops. Yeah, that's not right. Other way. Look at that. There we go. That actually is going to look good. Maybe one more out to the side. And then just kind of shoot straight out from there like this. Maybe to like right there. That looks pretty good. Um, do I want to do more stairs? I think the arm looks okay, you know? That one will be there, and then the other one will kind of come out higher up and hold it down. Let me look at it from the other side so it's actually the correct angle. That looks pretty good. I mean, for what it is and for the materials that we have available, it's not looking too bad, you know? Um, I need to put some torches on his shoulders and one on his head, probably. I cannot have stuff spawning up on top of him. Go ahead and do that so I don't forget. I'm not going to touch the shoulders anymore, so. Yeah, there we go. 
Where'd my torches go? Am I out of torches? I don't know. Uh, torch. Did that? Okay, yeah, that's good. That should be fine. Um, so yeah, try the other arm, I guess. Uh, the other one kind of comes out at a sharper angle. Maybe I should have used stairs for that one. Oh, that's what I need. I gotta go make some more stairs. How much regular sandstone? Okay, I still got a good bit. I know I should be using this, uh, stone cutter for these, but I don't care. So... <laughs> way over in the house so maybe run right over the house like some kind of smart person would do what are you an idiot uh this looks fine and again stairs 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 maybe I just want to like go ahead and come out right here yeah I need some more slabs and then I just want to like Kind of aggressively come over a little bit and then end it like right here like on this slab also higher than the other side so the gun kind of goes down at an angle um the only thing is i can't do wool at an angle so i literally have to have it like if i did it out of wool i could do black carpet maybe um Ooh, you know what would be really nice for this is if I had some black stone from the uh, from the new nether update because you can make slabs out of that and stairs and everything, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Uh, I think black wool will be fine. I'm not going to get struck by lightning or anything, so. Um, yeah, so sandstone slabs. Six should be fine. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, and I kind of wanted to just like jut straight out like that. that that looks kind of weird i gotta cut some of that arm away because it's it's too bulky uh also maybe this one yeah that looks better just cut off the corners pretty much uh that looks good it looks like it's kind of close in, like attached to the body. Maybe I should do another slab under there. There we go. So the arm kind of just goes down and curves back in really aggressively. And then the other arm goes down at kind of a softer angle and juts out in front of it more horizontally. Did I do that? That looks good. I think that looks nice. And then this one is it's only one high at the, the arm. I jumped off like an idiot. Jesus. Picked up everything. I mean, it doesn't look great. I'll say that. Um, but I mean, I also think that looks pretty good in terms of just being what it's supposed to be, you know. Maybe like that. That looks good. Arm coming out like that. The other arm there. So we just got to have like some black wool. Ah, shit. Uh, 
Could I do it just like in here, maybe? Like right there. That actually looks kind of good. And then I could have another piece like extending off to the left a little bit and a couple pieces down and to the right. Let me go get some more wool. Uh, I might as well make shears. I'm going to go look for sheep. And another bucket. I wanted another bucket. Shut up, cat. Shears. Bucket. Seeds. Keeping the dirt. Keeping all this stuff. Uh, sign. I don't need the sand. Yeah, that, that'll actually work. I'll just move all the sand up here, and then I'll put the excess sandstone and all the other random crap I have in there. Uh, and then in the stone section, anything I have, like stone bricks and stone brick stairs, I'll put right there. Keeping the cobblestone on me, keeping the dirt on me. Gotta use the signs. I don't want to risk putting the book out there. Just in case. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, let me check on the sugar cane while I'm over here. Oh, there's a cat. Stray cat. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of sugar cane. See, so there's a bunch of it that I didn't get or that fell somewhere I wasn't expecting, but it's fine. I still got a ton of it, even if it's not 100% efficient and it's not automated, you know, it's fine. Uh, look, better. Ink sack, book and quill. All right, so now we have the other thing that I want to carry on me at all times. Uh, it's nighttime, or getting nighttime, so I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep. Look for some sheep. I have the ink sacks. Well, I can make them into black dye. That's fine. Um, what did I do with the other black dye? Did I already make that? Oh, yeah, I used the... What did I do with the other black wool, then? I had two of them. I know I didn't use both of them. There you go. I don't know. Who cares? Um, okay, sheep. I know there were some sheep off towards the desert, which was this way. Oh, I used the other one for the eye. Duh. Yeah. Hey, there's a sheep. Did I take the ink sacks with me? I did. Maybe two is enough. You're going to have to go. Yeah, I gotta have at least one more. Uh, I think. I can. Hey, a sheep. Two. Fine by me. Um, I know there's a flower. I guess it's the wither rose that you can use to make a. Uh, make dye. Make black dye out of a flower. There's no other like growing flower that you can use for it. You should be able to use like coal, like pulverize it or something and make uh, coal dust into 
black die. What do I know? There we go. A couple more wool. And then I think I'm just going to take the whole thing of dirt down and take a look at it and see what it looks like. And I might be ready to mark it up. Dirt. Um, so I definitely want this one to be higher up. So it looks like it's actually holding a gun down like that. Holding a blaster, sorry. And you can see a little bit of it under. Or do I want to put, oh no, you know what I want to do? I want to go get that because I dropped it. And then put it right there. There we go. That looks at least a little bit more blaster-like. Let's uh, cut it all down, see what it looks like. All my dirt scaffolding. Yeah, I think that's why I wanted to use the signs. I'm basically going to recreate what's on the book sign, but I don't want to use the books themselves, you know, in the uh, construction process, or put them, you know, in item frames down. Here. I don't want to risk putting them. If I lose a sign, I can replace that as long as I know what's actually on it. So, I think that's the best angle to see it from. Ta -da. I mean, if you're not looking at the the picture that I'm looking at, it may look kind of bad. But if you're looking at the picture I'm looking at, it looks pretty close. I think I, I can think of one change I might make right now, and that's uh, actually a couple things. I might change these pieces right here from uh, walls to like upside down stairs, make them look like they kind of meld into the, the frame a little more at the top. And then I think this piece I'm going to change to um, just being a half slab right there so it kind of curves down instead of just being like a jagged, you know, elbow. I'll see how that looks. Let's see what else we got. I maybe. Do I want to cut these leaves with shears? Not really. Excuse me. Um, I think it looks good from this side, for the most part. You know, I like how the head is kind of like set on top of the the pole that is the the wall for the neck. I think that looks really good. Um, does this arm have the same problem as the other one? Really, I think this one is more of a straight angle. You know, I might relocate that piece so that it's underneath the other one. Okay, so here's the here's the couple of fixes. I'm going to take this, move this right here. That looks good. Maybe even come here and put like a half slab right there so it looks like it's actually gripping around it. I gotta look at that from the ground to tell if I like it or not. Um, yeah, so I fixed the arm. That's fine. Well, you know what I could do to make it look even more like angle. If I come in from out here, I took the stairs down one more level. Put a slab right there and a slab right there and got rid of both of these. I think that looks better. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then I gotta fix the um, legs right here. Still have the stairs. I wanna do them like that. Oh, yeah, that looks way better. And 
This one. this out. Come on, seriously. There we go. Yeah, that looks better from the bottom. It looks better from the top. The arm kind of juts out more on that side. Uh, this one I was going to cut up a little bit. Replace. Put a stair and replace this with a slab so it kind of comes down like that uh, I think we're good make sure I picked up everything check it from this side um Honestly, I might get rid of that entire slab that's like in front of, or the entire right there, so it just looks like it's actually gripping onto the uh, the hand. So if I get rid of that, maybe put another slab underneath it, like right there. Hmm. 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 Maybe even get rid of this one. Whoops. Just looks like it's holding the gun on that side. Yeah, I might. I might just do it like that, make the arms smaller overall. I do it like this. I, I had kind of cooled on this anyway, coming out that way. If I do that and that, and then get rid of both of these. It's just like a really short arm, but at the same time, like, I think it looks like it's more accurately pulling it under the stock, you know? Stock? I don't know. Four grip. Oh, that looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks like it's holding it by the four grip. Again, we're kind of limited by the fact that you can't do slabs or stairs with this, but if I replace it with like uh, black rock later, um, I think that looks good. It looks kind of battle droidy. It looks kind of. Still not sure about that arm or that elbow. I think that looks good. I think that looks good. And from the perspective that I'm at right now with the, uh, the thing, actually, let me do this. Look over to here. You look at my monitor. What I can see. Uh, that's not going to work. But, I mean, uh, I really don't think that's bad, you know. Looks like that. And then if I go back to game, looks like that. I don't think it's too bad, you know. Good enough for me. Um, I'll come back out in the morning and put the uh, finishing touches, the sign, the quote, and everything. And I think we'll be good with our first first build. We'll have a little bit left, and I can go clear out uh, that area over there. I got to remake some tools, but I think that looks good. Got its gun kind of low down in front of its chest. Let me get the picture back up for me. Yeah. I, I think I'm happy with that overall. 
Um, you know, it may not be everyone's cup of tea. You know what I could do? One little slight change that might make it look better. If I come in right here and I go right here, right here, and right there. How does that look? It's going to be kind of weird. I might have to angle it. Hmm. Would it look better if it was right here? It looks like it's holding a gun, kind of. Kind of. I mean, maybe if I had one more piece of black wool, let me go look for one more sheep. Oh, great. Come on. Seriously. All right. No, no. Bad sheep. Stay. Uh, get one more ink sack, and then I'll put up the extra wool I got, I guess. One more ink sack. Hello? Oh, I always forget. There we go. I'm just going to do this. There we go. Okay, so here's the other idea. Or the, the follow-up idea. I do that and then break this. Probably gonna break my pickaxe, that's fine. Um, just for a second, okay, get that. That, that, that looks kind of good. I think that's it right there. Let's just, let's check it out. Maybe I don't even need this piece on the bottom now. I mean, now it looks like he's holding something else, but we're just going to ignore that. We're just going to ignore that. Nobody nobody say what you're thinking that that is. Everybody ignore it. It's not important. Uh, I think it looks good. I think it looks fine. It may look better if I like reduce it and took the nose of it and went down one just so it looked like it was, you know, angled more. Hello? Uh, but then I'd have to go down two blocks with that. And I don't think I could make that look very good. So I think I'm good for now. So let me put some uh, some stuff on here. Um, I'm going to put it like right in front of it, right here. Yeah, there we go. So this is, I was not ready to put the sign down. Bro, you were making me very nervous. Let me go get the book. Eventually, I'll be carrying the book with me when I'm working on a certain build, you know. But I'm still, I'm still learning. I'm, I'm here learning with everybody else. Okay, so we got Mangle underscore ninety two build a statue of a battle droid. I don't know why I'm trying to be so... There we go. I 
know how to spell. And that was 629-2020. There we go. I'm not going to be able to put everybody's description perfectly, but this one worked out fine. There we go. Worked out pretty good. It's, uh, you know, it's fine. <laughs> as we get better resources and as we're building on a much larger scale, we'll start feeling a little more, uh, a little more proud of our builds right now. We're just like, eh, it's good. We'll get there. Uh, so I'm going to carry this stuff on me, shears, in case I find cheap, just because, I don't know, I feel like I'm going to need a lot of wool for later on, as you could see by that. Uh, torches right there, some dirt, cobblestone, swords back, axes back, pickaxe. Uh, I'm going to need, wait, do I? No, oh, yeah, I do. Also, let me make my diamond pick. I need one anyway, so... I think that's what we'll do for the rest of the episode. I'm going to go, uh, I don't have that long. I need more storage. I'll do it right now. Make some more barrels. I want to make nine barrels. That's kind of a lot. Four is good. There we go. Just for ultra compact, super condensed storage. Sandstone, cut sandstone, sandstone stairs, slabs, walls. There we go. Uh, and now I can put Put some wood stuff in here, oak slabs. Uh, take my diamond pick down there. Got to make the block of iron back into iron so I can make a shovel and two pickaxes. There we go. Extra iron, black wool, which I can't do anything with. Let me take all the wool. Die. I'm not going to take the bone meal out. Flowers. All that stuff. I'm going to put that in a different chest. Ink sacks count even though I'm going to need those for other stuff later. That's fine. Uh, I'll put these up right now. I'll put this oak sign in here. Uh, yeah, here we go. Flowers, 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 ink sacks, wool. Uh, extra dirt. No, no. There we go. Uh, cool. So we're back up on tools. Got my diamond pick for the obsidian. Uh, I need to fill this bucket with water, and then we're good. We can go back down and get some obsidian, make another portal go through, and we'll wrap it up. It's a very productive day as well. Technically day one, but, you know, last time we just wanted to, uh, cool. last time we just wanted to um, get the absolute bare minimum stuff done to get a, a basic, you know, uh, there we go. Get a basic world started, but we're off to a, a really good start, actually. Episode 2 played for, this is 3, 4 hours now. About to have um, Nether Portal, full iron gear. I didn't have anything in there. Run over here, I know there's some uh, 
standing obsidian. I'm just going to keep hitting the walls. Shut up. There we go. Um, I'm just going to do this. Because why not? I'm not using the obsidian. For, I'm not using the lava for lighting. So mostly. Um, and honestly, it's just dangerous to have around. So There we go. Actually, yeah, this one's pretty safe. I might use this as the... Uh, yeah. What am I doing? All right, here we go. First couple pieces of obsidian. Might get an enchanting table built today. And we'll go for the uh, nether portal today. Face bucket challenge. I don't know why it's still called that at this point, but whatever. Oop. Uh, I'll go for a full portal. Not gonna take that long. Three. Maybe I'll go for a small portal. <laughs> Four. I'm sure everyone has said that exact same thing. Eh, it's not gonna take that long. Yeah, it does. Five. Hope nothing creeps up behind me. Six. Whoops. I can't even tell which block I'm cutting right now. Seven. This does take longer, doesn't it? Oh, did I screw it up? God damn it. Eight. back here. Uh, let me re-pour this water so it doesn't flow everywhere. I'll bring it this way. No. Don't do that. There we go. Okay. This will work. I don't even remember how many I have so far. Uh, that makes 11. So we have enough for a cheap portal. Um, if I want enough for a, an enchanting table, that's 14. If I want enough for a, an expensive portal and or a fancy portal and um, an enchanting table, that's 18. So 13. Fourteen. Oh, that was close. Fifteen. I'll cut these. These should be much safer. Sixteen. Oh, perfect. Make it work for you. Seventeen, and last but not least, eighteen. Assuming I counted right, yep. Come on, I will bring the water back. That works. Water right there, obsidian right there. I can put the diorite up, even though I hate diorite. Got 
to jump out. It is nighttime, of course. Um, I think we're just going to put the nether portal, like, I don't know, right on the side of the cliff over there. Somewhere that's out of the way so I don't hear it all the time. But, uh, you know, not like in the middle of nowhere. I'll put some more torches over here so there's not anything popping out at night. Yeah, like I could probably put it right there. That actually is a cool cool spot for another portal. Um, yeah. Let me cut it back to like right there. There we go. Just make it look like a natural uh, rock formation somewhat. I want to keep some structural blocks, but um, I'm definitely going to inset it in the wall. If that's the actual like portal body. Do I want it to be there? Do I want it to be right here? I think it looked the best right here. So I have to get rid of that. And then portal, portal, corner, corner, corner. And it's gotta be three tall. There, cut these out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That looks kind of cool. I kind of want to have it exposed just so I can put torches in the corners. It looks pretty nice. It's not super out of the, you know. Whatever. It looks fine for now. Um, I'll light that up. I got the four obsidian left over. Got my dirt. Got a bunch of extra stuff. Uh, and we are about to wrap it up here in just a second. Let me get another harvest of... Dang it. That's why I like lily pads. Get another harvest of sugar cane. There we go. <clears throat> okay, I think that's good. Run back up here. Make a flint and steel. Take one with me to the nether. I'm not taking the diamond pick just because I do not need it and I don't want to risk it. Um, put planks in here. There we go. That's good. Um... I might put a chest over there just to have like, you know, stuff that I really do not need. I'm not going to bring into the nether with me. Yeah, that's the wrap it up sign right there. So, uh, real quick, flint, steel, make those, get that. He's in here. Actually got a ton of sugar cane already without even really trying to. There's some cobblestone and the diorite. There's some dirt. Honestly, this whole thing, I want it to just be dirt, you know? Uh, and let me make that enchanting table while I'm in here. I need another book. One, two, three. Got to use my last piece of piece. Yeah. Use my last piece of leather for now, but whatever. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, one, two. One, two, three, four. Hell yeah. Standing table. 
and the lapis blocks for the enchanting table. Uh, this, did I put the rest of the dirt in there? Like an idiot. Yeah. Uh, and then I got the chest I'm going to put over there. And we're good. What? Oh, it's daytime already. Jeez. Or did I already sleep? I don't know. I kind of want to go out and get a bunch more lily pads and just cover this entire thing. Have like little paths cut in it. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Put anything that's not like absolutely necessary in there. I'll take the flint and steel with me in case I need it. I don't really need torches. I don't need a compass. It's not useful. I mean, I could make it a, a special magical compass and make the new anchors and stuff, but I don't need three picks. I don't need an axe. I don't need a shovel. Yeah, I'm just like running light when I go into the nether. I will go in with my armor because I mean, I doubt, you know. Anything's gonna happen, and even if it does, like, whoa. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna go back immediately. Glancing around, we've been probably the worst biome possible. Good lord. Sound effects are so loud. Ambient environment. Is that what it is? There we go. That's probably fine. Uh, also, yeah, let me turn the music on. Why not? Okay. I literally just put everything away to kind of, you know, figure out what I would need in case I needed it. Uh, I mean, figure out what I would leave in case I wanted to leave. Uh, do it like that. Broken quill. Torch, food, compass, which is going to be replaced by a map, and I could actually do that right now. Make a cartography table, but I, I'm going to keep playing forever if I don't stop, so. Um, and I do have something to do, so. I think we are good. Inventory's back to normal. I'll keep the flint and steel in there. Yeah, man, we got a enchanting table up today. We got um, everything, really. Everything set the stage for the next day of uh, day of progress. Tomorrow we're actually going to get started on the build hall. We're going to move this book into there. Figure out how we're going to organize everything. Figure out what I want it to look like. How I'm going to make it. Uh, probably going to implement some strip logs. Um, so it's going to be pretty sweet. Uh, anything else I want to do? Before we quit. Got a diamond pick. Um, Oh, let me get up to 32 bread and it works. Just so I'm geared up for next time. Uh, let me make that. Let me make it a map. That works. Oops. Nice. You can see the entire village. Pretty much. Uh, cartography table, real quick. It'll take like one second. Just gonna search. Cartography table. Oh, it's just two paper. Okay, real quick. Uh, this, this. table, this map, plus paper, expand it, expand it, expand it, expand it. There we go. That's just like a nice zoomed out map. I'll put the extra paper in here next to the sugar cane. Uh, I might put the birch logs in the uh, wood chest for now. There we go. That's fine. And I'll put the sign in here. All right. Uh, I feel pretty good about that. Let me move this out. Sign, door, fence, stairs. Move the birch over there. Log, log. There we go. 
I can kind of see how I'm going to do it. Yeah, that'll work actually because there's how many types of logs are there? Six oak, spruce, birch, acacia, dark oak. Well, I guess now there's the new types of wood. Um, am I forgetting one? Jungle, yeah. So there's six types of basic wood, so this will work for that. Um, we'll we'll do all that tomorrow. So uh, that is gonna be it for me today. This was episode one of Plutocraft. Uh, if anyone liked this stream, if you want to join in, uh, I think I'm for this week. I'm gonna be five to seven p.m. Central, uh, Monday through Friday, and then next week I might have to tweak it a little bit. But uh, follow me on Twitter at GameWise uh, Tube. GameWise Tube. Is that what it is? Yeah. G A M E W I S E T U B E on Twitter. And uh, that's where I put all my notifications and updates and things like that. So uh, that'll do it, guys. I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you. And yeah, see you later. Bye-bye.